Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Aaron from Aaron Tech here. I got some requests for how to use radio buttons on Visual Basic. And uh, these can be confusing sometimes because because the if statements for these radio buttons can be confusing at times for checking if they are actually checked, but they're really the same thing as check boxes if you've ever used those before in Visual Basic. So using a radio button is actually pretty easy. So what you want to do is you want to make a form with some radio buttons. It doesn't matter how many. I just put three in for the sake of this tutorial. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and add a button as well and double click on that. And what we're going to do is we're going to put in some code to see if we have uh, certain radio buttons checked. And if that button is checked, we want something to happen. So what we want to do is we want to use an if statement for that. We type in if radio button, whatever number button you want to use. I'm just going to use one for now. Radio button one dot checked equals true. Then... I'm just going to put a message box in here saying this button is checked. We'll go ahead and run it. Then we, then we select radio 2, nothing happens. But if we do radio 1, it'll say that. So you can replace this if statement with whatever you want to put in there or whatever action you want to happen. You can have it open up a program example, for example, using the shell command. And I will demonstrate how to use that shell command right now. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and find the program that we want to open using the radio button. So for example, I will just use CClear. So if you have an icon on your desktop for it, go ahead and right click and then choose properties. This one will pop up here and the target, which is what we want, should already be highlighted. Go ahead and copy that, close that window. And we'll go ahead and put another if statement in here to open that program. So if radio button 2 that checked equals true, then we'll put a shell statement in here, left parenthesis, then we'll go ahead and paste our target in here and put an end parenthesis on. So we'll go ahead and debug that. Then radio button 1, you see, still does the same thing as we put in before. Radio button 2 opens up C Cleaner and this can be any program that you want. Just remember that you have to put in the file path under the shell command right here. So that's pretty much it for this radio button tutorial guys. If you have any other ideas for uh, any kind of uh, visual basic tutorial or any kind of tutorial you want me to do, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one.